house parties are great and they can be super convenient ways to host a party. But the age old question is, how do I throw a house party without upsetting my neighbors? Hi, I'm Chelsea from Feel Good Events and today I'm gonna run you through some tips to throwing the night of your life without creating enemies for life with the people you live next to. This first tip is not gonna work for everyone, but if it works for you, it's a really great way to get around this whole issue. Invite your neighbors to your party. For some, this may be a great way to get to know them and they're probably not gonna be complaining about it if they're in attendance. But for some, this scenario does not always work out. So here are some other tips if that isn't a viable option for you. Tell your neighbors about your upcoming party. Bring your plan along with you, knock on your neighbor's door and let them know all about your upcoming event. And be honest, tell them when you're planning to host it how many people you expect to show up, if there's gonna be drinking, if there's gonna be loud music playing, tell them everything that might be impactful on them. Now, just because you've told them in advance doesn't mean they're gonna be over the moon that you're having a party. However, you've given them the opportunity to be pre-prepared and for it not to be a surprise on the night. And while you're talking to them, you should take this as an opportunity to pass on an emergency contact number. This way on the night, if they run into any issues like the music is far too loud, they'll be able to call you and not the police. This can give everyone a peace of mind, especially your neighbors if they know that you're willing to cooperate with them and have a night that's great for you, but also for them. Plan when the music will turn off. Your neighbors are more likely to be fine with the noise if they know when it's going to quieten down. So you need to decide a time when you will turn off the music and let them know when that is. If they don't know there is a time when you're planning to turn your music off, they may just assume it's going to go all night and eventually might end up calling the police. However, if they're starting to get a bit fed up with the noise, but it's 11.30 and you told them the music will be off at midnight, they'll probably have a bit more peace of mind about it and be able to plan around that noise. The most important part about this tip is obviously to stick to your word. It's no good creating false promises. You should also check on the volume at the start of your party. So when the music's on, go somewhere like stand on your street and have a listen to what the volume's like. If it's way too loud, probably should turn it down a bit. Another option to keep volume minimized is to host your party indoors. If you have the space to, um, those walls really keep the music in a lot better than your backyard will. Planning for parking. If you anticipate the majority of your guests are gonna be driving to your event, you should give them a heads up before the night of some good parking options. You wanna avoid locking in your neighbor's cars or creating heaps of traffic on your street. A few options are to advise your guests before the night of some good public transport options if that is gonna work for your location. Let them know of any parking options that may not be directly on your street if you have some good car parks near your house. You can even just encourage your guests to be cautious and mindful on the night, to spread out and not to be parking all over each other. Controlling your guests. You need to know as the host of the event that you are responsible for the guests who attend. If your party is getting a bit out of control and you've got some rowdy guests, you need to be the person who keeps them in check. This can be a bit awkward. So before your event, make sure you sit down and have a think of any issues that you could see arising and how you plan to handle them if they happen to. Especially if you think there are gonna be some guests who will be drinking a lot of alcohol, it's really Really good to have a plan B in place before your event starts. Make sure that you keep all of your guests in your space and that your party isn't overflowing into the street or into your neighbor's yards. And if things go really south and get quite out of hand to a level that you can't control anymore, it is your responsibility to get assistance from the police. You should not be waiting for your neighbors to call on your behalf. Keeping your neighbors happy is all about being respectful and considerate. Make sure you think about all of this before your event, put precautions in place and have your plan B's ready just in case you need them. 